around you, right, who do not have the right understanding and right feeling. Okay. If that is not there, you keep doing bad to the other people. Right? So even when you are not associated with the body, you at least continue to have that kind of feeling. And that is cre you know, creating problems. But then what to do? What to do is very simple. If I have the right understanding and right feeling, then these people with not having right understanding and right feeling, they don't affect me, even when they are with body. Right? So simple, hundred people sitting here, right? I am inviting them to ask any question. Right? They must be having a lot of thinking and you know, assumptions and all that, okay? Before they came here, they are still with a you know, lot of this assumption. So everybody is asking questions. Everybody is trying to prove, you know, that what is being said is not okay. But is it, you know, influencing me? Neither. <coughs> Neither me. It <laughs> 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 doesn't influence on you. It also, because it goes, you know, uh, we have a different mental disposition of understanding the right. That's why. So, if you have the right understanding and right feeling, right, then you don't get affected by the other self, right? You can, in fact, be helped to the other, right? To get this right understanding and right feeling. Okay. If that is the case, when the self is with the body, Okay. That is going to remain the case even if the self is not associated with the body. So all this fear from so-called ghost and you know, evil spirit is because of lack of right understanding and right feeling in the self, yourself. That is why they become so <coughs> kind of influential on you. So what is the solution? To have the right understanding and right feeling. If I have this, okay, I will not be afraid of this self who are not having right understanding, right feeling, when they are associated with the body, right? Because they cannot influence me now. And I will not be afraid of these self when they are not associated with the body. That is why you can see these two are very fundamental needs. Right understanding and right feeling are the fundamental need of the self. Right? And if I can ensure this, right? I can be free from this, you know, evil, you know, self who don't have the right understanding and right feeling when they are associated with the body and when they are not associated with the body. Either way. And further, I'll express my sense of responsibility in helping them. Yeah. And so you'll help them to have right understanding and right feeling. Mm -hmm. Help them is, what is them? So the people who don't have right understanding and right feeling, with body we can help them. Without body we body. How, how do we help those without body? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it is better to think of a program to make them, you know, help them to have right understanding and right feeling, you know, through education, when they are associated with the body. <laughs> It sounds simpler. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you could do this, right, then there will be no evil spirit left. <laughs> because next time when they associate themselves with the body, and if they get the right education and sanskar, right, they will become comfortable for themselves, and they will also make others uncom you know, comfortable rather than making uncomfortable. Okay, <laughs> so now a lot of things, you know, will start unfolding. So let me do to you. Just something to do on. Yes, I was trying to relate my actual uh, story. One lady comes shouting in the middle of night saying there is a white lady, long hair, standing. <laughs> and I was excited. 
lady with white dress was in my brain, went there. I could also see her. <laughs> <laughs> and then my dagger was on. <laughs> For some moment I was not able to go there. <laughs> that could be right also. <laughs> and then when I gradually approached, it happened to be a bush. Some insects on, <laughs> insects sitting on there, it's a flickering kind of a light coming out, no? And there is some mushroom also. Nothing <laughs> to do with your imagination and when you, what do you call, when you come on the mountain, they do not have fear. When you have, when you reach near a big tree or a gorge, there is a ghost or some, so this is something to do with our culture and tradition that has been passed on to us. Like if you see Ura just above this uh, Shinkar village, this forest is in intact. What people tell is that if you cut one, the village will be flooded. And if you survive, there will be leprosy coming in. And that is ingraining. And because of that culture, that forest is untouched now. Even if Diego or Reja gives permit to cut down, they will not allow it. <laughs> so I think uh, our grandparents have passed down this, uh, that near the stream, if big trees are there, don't cut down, kind of a thing. So basically it is to protect the nature. I think. Now we are going against. So when I went there, it was not a ghost, but it was a bush, big trees. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking that our notion of uh, ghost and evil, most probably my, our grand grandparents might have created that kind of thing and passed down to pass the those days no laws, nothing else. Now we can say that, okay, if you cut down, you will be fine. If you kill bear, you will be fine or be imprisoned. So I was thinking that it is something to do for protection of nature or the forest. Okay. <laughs>